Today we're gonna do one dipping sauce that's a sun-dried tomato marinara. It's delicious on pasta any day of the year. It's also delicious to dip with two different meatballs, or two different balls, I should say, that we're making today. One of them is meat. It's a lamb and beef ball with lots of garlic and mint running through it. Delicious with the sun-dried tomatoes. We're also going to make a meat-free ball out of polenta, deep-fried polenta arancini, yum. So we're gonna start with the sauce itself. We took sun-dried tomatoes, we reconstitute them in water or chicken stock or vegetable stock. When they plump, we cool them down a little bit and we transfer them into our food processor and puree them down. Meanwhile, in a combination of butter and olive oil in the bottom of a large Dutch oven or your sauce pot, over moderate heat, I melted the butter into the oil and I added one onion, finely chopped, and a few fat cloves of garlic. I also added one large fresh bay leaf. We add a drizzle of honey or a sprinkle of sugar. I add a little bit of chili flake to spice it up. One can of Italian tomatoes, our other tomatoes, our sun-dried tomato puree. And while this is simmering, we can get to work on the meatballs. For this meatball, it's very simple. Moisture is the key to any meatball recipe, right? So I always take homemade uh, breadcrumbs or panko, the large kind of fluffy breadcrumbs, and I soak them in whole milk. Then you squeeze out the excess from that and add those moist breadcrumbs to the mix. This is an equal mix of ground sirloin and ground lamb. To that, I add a couple of egg yolks, again, moisture, a fat dose of good olive oil, Lots of pecorino cheese. And then, again, moisture and flavor. I grate in a little onion. Of course, garlic. A lot of lemon zest goes in now. And then a ton of mint and parsley. So I'm gonna get these mixed together, get these meatballs into the oven. When we come back, we'll make polenta arancini. I'll explain what that means right after this. We're working on the meat-free ball that's gonna go with our sun-dried tomato sauce. These are arancini. Here, we're going to substitute polenta, um, you know, polenta, cornmeal, uh, for the rice. So we're going to make a quick cooking batch of polenta, which cooks in just three minutes in a one to three ratio. So for liquid, I use half milk, half vegetable or chicken stock. You bring that to a bubble, you add the polenta, and literally within three minutes, it masses. To finish the polenta, you add a fat drizzle of honey, coarse black pepper, some nutmeg, and I also add some grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Okay, so now you've got super hot polenta. You can quick cool it by pouring it onto a small uh, baking sheet and throwing it into the fridge. Um, and we've got a cold batch here that we just chilled down in the pan after it came to room temp. Again, you use your scoop to make uniform balls. And then this is our breading. We have flour, seasoned, eggs, seasoned, and breadcrumb. The breadcrumb has a little bit of orange and lemon zest and parsley running through it. So you take these, you pass them through the flour, then the egg, then into your zesty breadcrumb. When you get them all breaded, you drop them a few at a time into a tabletop fryer. When we come back, I'll show you how they serve up right after this. We're wilting in a little bit of basil at the very end there so it stays nice and fresh and just bright. <laughs> then we're going to take our sauce that's a combination of sun-dried tomatoes that we plumped up and simmered and then pureed with our tomato basil sauce with onion, garlic, and bay and a little chili flake. These are polenta that we chilled and rolled in flour, egg, and then breadcrumb seasoned with citrus zest and parsley. Delicious. So that's our meat-free option here. And then over here, we have our lamb and beef meatballs with tons of garlic and lemon zest um, in there. So that's why both of these marry so beautifully with that sauce. I always add more mint and parsley to garnish this because the meatballs are brown, of course, to kind of make it look a little more cheerful. And then I hit it with just a little fresh lemon juice while they're still hot, right when you serve. 